to monitor traffic movement on the M3 at Marion Hill Gate. The MEC, together with enforcement commanders, will also brief the media on the developments and performance since the start of the festive season. For more on the story, let's cross live now to SABC News reporter Vosi Kumalo. Vosi, a very new, happy new year to you. What's happening where you are? Happy New Year to you, Desiree and the team. Yes, we are here on the N3 Marine Hill toll gate where we are seeing police uh, personnel. These are the SEPs uh, units as well as Metro and the provincial traffic police known as NPA who are uh, conducting roadblock here on the N3. As you know, that uh, with accommodation uh, outlets uh, and hotels uh, saying that uh, they've reported full occupancy at their facilities. We know that people, our holiday makers, are making their way back to their destinations, most of them going back to Gauteng and other provinces uh, nearby, such as in Pumalanga, as well as the Eastern Cape. But this is the main route here, because we know that uh, uh, there's been a number of uh, things being said about the entry being one of those uh, top uh, guarded areas when it comes to security. We are also seeing the army who are also uh, here uh, together with the Department of Transport and Community Safety here in KwaZulu Natal because we know that just before Christmas we have had incidents of, of destabilization of the N3 with a number of uh, truck drivers who were also uh, blockading the traffic that was en route to the Free State and also uh, Houting because these are the two economic hubs in the country of South Africa, of course, Deben and also uh, Houting or Johannesburg. So this is uh, one of the busiest uh, road economically and also carrying the hopes of the South Africa as it's connecting two economic hubs of the country, being Johannesburg as well as uh, Deben. As Tulani Mdob um, is showing you the traffic volumes, we are told that it has swelled more than 1,400 uh, vehicles are passing here uh, in, an, in an hour. I'm going to speak uh, to Chukwane Lengalan, who's uh, the spokesperson for the Department of Transport in KwaZulu Natal, is going to tell us and uh, also give us a picture of what is really going on here in the province of KwaZulu Natal. Surely, police are, have got their hands on the deck as we are trying to ensure that you are sparing ne no efforts in ensuring that there is road safety, especially during this time of the year, Mr. Ngadan. Well, compliments, uh, Vusi, and compliments to all the SAPC viewers at home. Uh, as you can see, uh, we have mounted this operation, not only this operation, but throughout the province. Uh, we have identified the uh, major corridors which are critical uh, in connecting the province of KwaZulu Natal with other parts of South Africa and parts of the world. So our focus now is the, mostly on those people that uh, are leaving the province. As you can see, that we are focusing on bounds that um, are leaving the province because uh, the volumes, if you uh, do the analysis, it tells you that there, is more, there are more vehicles now that are going out than those that are coming in. We are currently uh, sitting at about 1,400 vehicles an hour uh, that are leaving our tolls, especially on the entry uh, here in Maroon Hill, Moy River going up to uh, uh, Free State and Pumalanga and ultimately Gauteng and other provinces. Uh, we are also having operations as well on the N2 uh, linking Guazul uh, Natal, uh, Eastern Cape and, 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 and Pumalanga as well with the neighboring borders, uh, Lesotho, uh, Swaziland and Mozambique as well. So we, uh, the reason for these operations is that we don't want um, to let our guard down. Our main focus is that we, we, we have seen that uh, there is a, a downward trajectory in terms of crashes and fatalities. But this period becomes critical when people are leaving. That is why we also want to make sure that we sustain the same momentum that we have had throughout the festive season, even now when people are leaving. We know that before, I think it was in November, the province experienced, especially this uh, route N3, uh, we had a number of truck drivers who were blockading this road, uh, complaining or lodging a protest against the employment of, of truck drivers uh, for, from foreign countries. How have you dealt with that issue so far? We can see the army already here on the N3. Well, we, there is a multi-pronged uh, 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 strategy that is being implemented by government in dealing with that issue. Uh, in fact, even after the last incident in Fandrinan Pass, we convened uh, meetings with uh, truck uh, drivers, their representatives, and we all, we all agreed that uh, there was no need uh, 
for such a, a blockade on the entry because all the matters that have been raised are being processed. Government at the national level is working quite well with the province in addressing all the issues that have been raised by truck drivers and are given attention. Therefore, uh, we did not anticipate that there will be any instability along the route. However, we have had our security plan uh, intact to make sure that we are able to deal with any eventuality on the road. As you can see now, we are still moving with that integration. There are all uh, agencies here, SAPS, uh, South African National Defense, Traffic and all other agencies. We are continuing uh, 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 paying a closer look on the entry, monitoring all the essential corridors and all the potential areas of unrest. But we must commend uh, the men and women in uniform for the quite execution um, of the security plan in the province. We think that um, they've been uh, so much uh, grounded, they've been rooted on the ground to make sure that uh, we are able to deal with them um, everything that happens on the ground. Even in terms of our statistics, it just goes to indicate that there's a lot of work that has been done. More than 70,000 vehicles have been stopped and checked in the province, which is quite an indication that um, we have been on the ground and we are going to sustain this, mom this momentum. Thank you. That's uh, Kwanele Ngalane, the spokesperson for Transport uh, Department in Guazul Natal, saying that there's been a reduction in terms of the road crashes and also some of the fatalities, uh, which are often uh, heightened, especially during this time of the year. Uh, the MEC for Transport and Safety and Liaison in Guazul Natal, Nelly Swape Koyeni, will also be joining the enforcement team here to ensure that uh, she also monitors uh, traffic volumes as they've already uh, swelled uh, with more than 1,400 vehicles passing uh, just an, in an hour's time here at uh, Marine Hill Toll Plaza. And also Nalan is saying that they've also tightened uh, their security in terms of the other traffic volumes, especially when, school, when you go to uh, the Eastern Cape, uh, the road that connects uh, Kwasu Natal with Eastern Cape, the uh, end and also in the borderland areas such as Mozambique, uh, Swaziland and Lesotho. With that said, with me, Tulani Ngobo and other team members, it's back to you for now. Of course, we'll be monitoring uh, throughout the country just in terms of traffic volumes as we get back to work.